Joaquin Elizondo here from HollywoodEditingMentor.com and I just want to share some advice with you today. Some advice that I got in the earlier part of my career that really changed my mindset around money and then which in turn uh, led me to choosing the right types of projects that I got involved with, those projects that would lead me uh, down the path to achieving my dream of becoming a film and scripted TV editor in Hollywood. So let me take you back to 2009. I was in LA and I met Oscar winning writer and director Cameron Crowe. And you know, I asked him, hey, can you share some advice uh, for someone that is looking to work in Hollywood uh, to be a filmmaker? And he said, don't worry about the money. The money will come later. Focus on, on, on meeting people, making the right connections, uh, getting the right experience, but, but don't focus so much about the money. That's gonna come later in your career. As we all know, it certainly did for him, as well as an Oscar, and, and, and much success came his, came his way, right? But initially, it wasn't like that, right? He struggled for a bit, uh, and it took some time uh, to find success. But I gotta admit that at that time, uh, I didn't follow uh, Cameron Crowe's advice, I gotta say. Uh, I just, you know, I still continue to take on editing jobs uh, based strictly on how much they were paying. I, my question was always, what's the rate? You know, what do they pay? That was my, my focus, that was my priority, right? And I, and I, I went down that path for, for many, many years and I, I, I worked in, in a lot of stuff that I really didn't satisfy me and, and but more, more importantly, did not lead me down the path to, to say, working in film and scripted TV in Hollywood. So years later, I'm in LA again, and I meet Oscar-nominated editor Joey McMillan at a networking event. At this point, I was trying to make the transition from unscripted to scripted, and I asked her to, to share some advice for someone who was trying to do that, and she said, surprise, surprise, don't make it about the money. The money will come later. Focus uh, on getting involved with the right types of projects that are gonna give you that experience, that are gonna give you those credits on your resume, that, that are gonna connect you with, say, other filmmakers, and they're also gonna allow you to kind of learn the, the skills necessary for, say, working uh, uh, as an assistant in, in film or scripted TV, and, and, and also just simply learn the lingo, right? Because I was, had been doing unscripted for, for so many years. I realized that was, that's when I, I, I had that mindset shift, right? That I, I looked back at my career and realized how, much, uh, how many jobs I had taken just simply because of what they were paying, right? And, and, and now I needed to make a, 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 a shift in, in, in saying taking different uh, projects that were gonna give me the right experience. And that meant uh, I was gonna have, probably have to work in low budget indie projects, low budget indie films, uh, because those projects were the ones that were gonna give me a shot based on my experience. And so one of my first jobs in LA was uh, as an assistant editor on a, a low budget uh, union indie feature. It was, it was union, but it was tier zero, right? So I could barely pay my bills. But I was making a film in Hollywood, right? I, 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 was, I was working as an assistant uh, editor on a feature film in Hollywood and I was getting the right experience. I had now a, a film credit on my resume and I, I, I was meeting, uh, you know, working with an editor and, and, and meeting a director and just getting involved with the filmmaking community. And so that was very valuable because then that job led me to another film and another film and other projects. And eventually uh, I started working in, in, in union, uh, on union scripted TV shows as a, as a fill-in assistant, right? So I would work a week here, a week there. Again, not making a lot of money, but I was now, you know, getting involved with other post-production teams. I was building my network, you know, in the in the in the realm of post-production that I wanted to work in. So that kept going, that kept going until eventually I landed, you know, uh, an assistant editor gig on a, on a full season of a hit Netflix uh, scripted TV show, uh, which was Narcos Mexico. And so, but you know, look, I, that that process took about two years from the moment I got to LA to when I landed that, that Narcos Mexico gig, that took about two years. I had a bunch of credits that had nothing to do with film and scripted TV. And so I needed to kind of start from scratch and then also then focus on getting more narrative credits. And that was a process, right? It took a while, but again, I was kind of investing, I think more for the, for the long term. We have to focus our energy first in getting the right experience, getting connected uh, and not worry so much about the money don't make that, you know, a priority. I, look, I understand we all gotta make money, we gotta make a living, we gotta pay our bills, we gotta eat. Um, but just let me give you an example. Like for example, what I used to do is that I used to say spend maybe six months uh, getting, uh, you know, say narrative credits by working in, in, in low budget indie uh, uh, features, right? Obviously, probably had to dip into my savings a little bit. So maybe after those six months, then I would go off and go, you know, work in, in unscripted as an editor 
replenish those savings, and then after that, then go back to hustling, right? To getting uh, the, the, the experience that I was looking for. And, and, and so it just did that for a little bit, but in the long run, it paid off. And eventually I got to where I wanted to be. And yes, the money did come later. So, uh, you know, I, I, I always tell people, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's better to define, I think, if you can, your goals early on in your career, because, you know, like with me, you know, I made a, a career shift later in life and it was a little tougher. I mean, I was able to do it, but I just wish I would have done it earlier and, and focused on getting the right type of experience. And maybe, you know, I wasn't gonna, was gonna make a lot of money initially and, 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 and that's fine. I was, there was uh, a lot more value in getting the right experience and getting and, and, and meeting other filmmakers. Um, and so it's important to kind of, I think we change our mindset uh, uh, about money uh, and, and find, you know, uh, what other types of value certain projects can provide. So some, there are some Oscar winning advice from two very successful uh, filmmakers, writer, director, Cameron Crowe and editor, Joy McMillan. I will forever be grateful for, for that uh, piece of advice. So thank you very much. And of course, now I wanna share it with you guys. So anyways, thanks again for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the Hollywood Editing Mentor YouTube channel. I'm gonna be doing more of these advice videos as well as some technical tutorials. So get notified when I, when I upload new videos by subscribing to the Hollywood Editing Mentor YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. My name is Joaquin Elizondo, the creator of the Hollywood Editing Mentor Program. I'll see you next time.